probably seen it, but it happens on the first Friday of every month. The latest report on unemployment showing a surprising drop to 7.8 percent. We added about 68, 69,000 jobs. A body blow to confidence in the American economy. News anchors deliver the latest employment and unemployment statistics, and then politicians usually spin the numbers to their advantage. Obamacare is costing jobs in America. We found out that the unemployment rate has fallen to its lowest level since I took office. But who actually collects the job data? How do they do it? Well, it all happens at the Bureau of Labor Statistics here in Washington, D.C. On the first Friday of each month, the BLS releases data from two surveys prepared with assistance from the U.S. Census Bureau. The first survey is called the CES, or the Current Employment Statistics Survey. It tracks employment trends based on monthly payroll changes, employee work hours, and the amount of money that workers earned for time spent on the job. The second survey is called the CPS, or the Current Population Survey, and it analyzes questionnaires from about 60,000 households across the country that help provide a little more detailed understanding of people with and without a job. Some have speculated that the unemployment numbers are cooked, but the BLS takes several steps to protect the data, as I found back in 2009. When the data arrives here at the Bureau, the offices go into complete lockdown mode. That's in order to assure the security and credibility of the data before their Friday morning release. No visitors are allowed on these floors, not even the trash collectors. Employees instead have to bring all that trash out here into the hall. Unemployment numbers will get sliced and diced by economists and politicians every month. But when you see them, at least now you'll know what they mean.